Look at the massive box of loot crate or crate loot, loot crate. There we go, loot crate. It's huge! Potentially three loot crates in here, what I'm expecting. Uh, February, March, and April, based on the months that I never received for I still don't know why. Uh, but Fabian at Loot Crate was kind enough to send these out to me, so thanks, Fabian. I don't know if there's anything else in here. I don't think so, but let's take off the tape. We got black paper. I don't see black paper for packaging. I guess it's not well, okay. <laughs> I guess it's a Loot Crate black thing. Here, have have some paper. So much paper for you. All right, uh, but there are definitely three loot crates inside the crate of loot. Loot crate crate, I suppose. Uh, that one, April. Okay. This one. <laughs> this, this damn cat. <laughs> this one is February with a blue sticker. There we go. I don't know if you saw the April sticker. I wasn't looking at the, the viewfinder. April, there we go. And I'm guessing the last one is probably March. Yes, with a boring grey stick. How boring is March? Alright. Um, it's fun, actually, because I can show like literally every side of this box without repercussion because there's no addresses on it. The addresses are on this box. Alright, I guess we're going to start with... February. Do you want to open it and pass me items as normal? Literally no idea what the themes are. I, I haven't a clue. Because it's been so long since I even cared. Well, Blue Crate cared about me. Who knows? Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. We have a Deadpool figurine of some description. Let's uh, get him out of the box here. Is there any tape on here? I don't think there's any tape. Hang on. Bum, bum. We have... Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's tape on the inside of it. Oh, okay. Of course it's tape somewhere. There has to be tape somewhere. Aha! Uh, Deadpool coming out of an explosion thing. Let's throw the camera a bit as we've got the big box out of the way. Everything else is going to be small little items on the table. Yeah, Deadpool flying out of an explosion. Does it light up? No, I was hoping it would light up. Maybe drill a hole in it and it can light up. It does smell of plastic. That, that weird plasticky smell. Let's throw the trash over there. Wonderful. Next. Okay, theme is presumably Deadpool right now. We got a Deadpool t-shirt. Oh, it's... Okay, it doesn't go that way around. It goes that way around. Tacos! I had not seen Deadpool, so I don't know if that's a reference. There you go. Deadpool t-shirt, Deadpool figurine. Hopefully I got the right size, because Fabian had to ask my size, and I was like, uh, I don't remember. It's been so long. Then we go on to Walking Dead, which... <laughs> this has turned into a game of guess the theme. Dead? Maybe? Based on the whole Deadpool and Walking Dead? Does that make sense? That kind of makes sense. Maybe that makes sense. I guess we'll find out. When oh, it's... It's like Lego. What? What is this madness? Oh, look at the tiny little lambs. Alright, we gotta put this uh, no that doesn't that doesn't go like that. We go this way? Which this way around? This way around, I think. Sure. Oh yeah, heard a click. Shoved his legs into his butt. There we go. And we'll shove <coughs> impale his head on his neck. His neck spike. Come on. It no go. He no. Okay. Oh, 
can carry his head for now, I guess, until I work, can work out how to do that. The arms clip on nicely. There we go. There we go. And then the foot just fiddles on to the base there. I'm assuming that's how that works. Okay. And then his head just kind of... I can't even hold it. I don't... I can't... It won't... It literally won't... Go on to the neck. I don't know. I don't understand. Moving on, I suppose. I don't know. I don't... Yeah, we'll work that out later, I suppose. Next... Okay, we're going more Walking Dead related stuff. Uh, soap on a rope. Daryl's Walker ear necklace. Get that out here. Soap on a rope. I, 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 yeah, it's just soap on a rope. Shaped like ears on, you know, a rope. There we go. And then, oh, we have the loot pin. Dead! We did get it right. Guess the theme correctly. It was dead themed. Let's put the pin out here to have a look at it. It's a dead loot crate wandering around on tarmac or something. There we go. That's cool. You can stand there with Headless Rick. Headless Rick doesn't want to stand. There we go, Headless Rick. And then we've got the dead magazine. This month theme is dead theme several months ago. Stuff, things, bag, go north, cardio key, Deadpool stuff, other stuff, red stuff, other things. Do we get, is that a female Deadpool? Quantum mechanic Deadpool, I don't, I don't know what that is. And then the box is just zombies in a cage, I don't care about the box, the box is completely worthless to me. First off in March, we have... Alien vs. Predator, a great exclusive figure. Okay, never actually seen Alien vs. Predator. I've seen Predator a long time ago, and Alien a long time ago. But never the two together. Oh, it's in the bag. Okay. Trash can over there. Let's cut the bag open here for a reflective bag. Oosh. Bush. It is a guy with dreadlocks. It's Predator! In some, is that like his usual getup? I don't know. He's got scars on him. And a GoPro. You can stand on the head of Rick. There you go. Next we have a beanie. Or a toque. Because I'm now Canadian and I get punched in the face when I call it a beanie. It's reversible. A reversible. Reversible. A reversible, reversible. It is DD. And I recognize that symbol, but I can't place it. Which I know is really bad of me. It's Marvel related. Uh, oh, merchandising. Punisher? I think that's Punisher symbol. I think. I'm not sure what the DD It may be Daredevil. Um, this theme, I don't know yet. We've got Superior and Predator, but we'll move on here to the t-shirt. This might give us some good clues for the theme. It is Star Trek. These things are, I don't, is it sci-fi? I don't see how these things are related to, in whatever way. Um, but it looks like it's Spock versus Spock. T-shirt, mirror, mirror. Can't, I can't, I can't even do it. Oh, no, it's not Spock. That's, that's somebody else. Evil Spock. I don't know. I don't watch Star Trek. Mirror, mirror. That's a t-shirt. Go over there. And then we have... Oh! Is this a Mighty Wallet? This might be a Mighty Wallet. This is a Mighty Wallet. I love Mighty Wallet. I have my... Where, where is it? Hang on. I have a Mighty Wallet. 
It's a bit battered, so I need a new one. There you go, Batman vs Superman. Is it, oh, it could be versus the theme. Alien vs Predator, Spark vs Evil Spark, Batman vs Superman, and Daredevil vs Punisher, I don't know. There you go. Oh, hang on. There's money in it. There to there, yeah. This, uh, you've not seen these Mighty Wallets, they're amazing, by the way. Plug for Mighty Wallet. Um, they're made out of this material that's basically unterrible. Like, and it just feels like paper. It's fantastic material. But there we go. Then we have the pin, which is versus. We did get it right. Let's open the pin up here. Do, 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 do. I don't know what that is. Oh, Alien vs Predator, I think. Predator vs Alien. Something vs something. Something. That's been. That's cool. We have Wow Gush. Luke Crypt Lens. Is it a code? Not even a code. Just play that game. I don't want to. And a comic. A Harley Quinn exclusive comic, which I'll probably never read. There we go. And then the magazine, which has had some stuff, verses, stories, people, things, other stuff, whatnot. This, that, the other thing, I don't really care about the magazine either. Um, yeah, that's the magazine. And then the box is just some kind of crazy alien versus predator thing, I think. Again, don't really care about the box. And then just like that, in the blink of an eye, we are into April. Speeding through these months, we have coming up here any minute now is Harry Potter socks. Uh, the diary, the ring, the locket, the cup, Harry, the tiara, and the snake. The the Horcruxes. Horcrux socks. Let's get these open here. There we go. Diary, ring, locket, cup, Harry. TR snake, on the other side, and they match, as socks tend to do. Next, we have 20 sided dye ice mold. Ooh. Fill with approximately 90% water and 10% something else. Oh, look at you! Okay, so you, if cat's in the garbage, whatever. You fill it with water, there, you know, through the psh, psh. And then you, when it freezes, you open it and you got like a dice that you could roll like maybe three times and it would melt. There you go. That's cool. I, I quite enjoy that actually. We have this. Oh, from Vikings. Uh, one and a half scale foggy drink mug. Kitty's on the table. You want you want a drink? You want a drink from the the horn? Let's get it out here. There you go. A horn of some kind of animal, and a baggie which I'll keep because I like baggies. And then this thing which I presume goes on like this. Maybe maybe the other way. Something. Like that, and then you can put it around your neck and you can drink from it, I guess. Doesn't really work, but you know. Drinking is always fun. Then we move on to the t-shirt, which is God knows what. Pan's Labyrinth, maybe? I think it's Pan's Labyrinth. I'm pretty sure that's Pan's Labyrinth. If I if I was a bet man. Oh no, Good thought of this t-shirt. He loves Pan's Labyrinth. It's like the only movie he watches. Rock me. No thank you. Yeah, there you go. Pan's Labyrinth t-shirt. And a cardboard tube. With some form of poster in it, I think. It makes a squeaky noise. There you go. You want a tube? There you go, have a tube. 
dun, 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 dun. Dun. I am a man of fortune and must see my fortune. Uncharted 4. Decent. end. I will possibly never play that game, but there you go. That's supposed for it. What's the theme? Oh, what's the theme? Uh, I've literally no idea. <laughs> what is the guess. theme? So we've had Horcruxes. Uh, we've had Uncharted 4. Pan's Labyrinth. I don't know much about Pan's Labyrinth. Just so I can recognize the image of it. Um, and a Viking horn. And a twenty. Did we get the twenty sided dice in this one? Twenty sided. No, we no, we must have got the twenty. Yeah, we got the twenty sided dice in this one. How many sided dice did they use in Dungeons and Dragons? Twenty. Okay, that makes sense. So it's adventure. Close. Quest. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I can get. I guess that. Well, I don't get it afterwards. I don't know how Viking goes into it. I guess I, I get Uncharted. Viking Quest. I don't know enough about Pan's Labyrinth to guess how that goes into it. Uh, I guess so. It's a nice little pin, though. Nice little badge. Oh, it's a 20 sided die. Look at that. Cool. And then... Quest. Adventure awaits. Loot Crate Magazine. Stuff. Things. Uh, let's see if we can work out how the horn works in this. Oh. There's a shock. Didn't come with the lady, unfortunately. Uh, ice mold... Pin... DX crate... Where is the... Like, lit is there literally no... I want it how... There's the horn. I was right. I just couldn't work it out in time. I'm just a bit stupid like that. Three loot crates in... 20 minutes. That's not bad, and this is just... Oh, this one I may actually keep. It's a maze. I like mazes. So there you go. Maybe I'll make that and solve it. Three loot crates. 20 minutes. Boom. Um, yeah, you may be able to go to lootcrate.com slash Addington and get your own loot crate. No idea if that link works anymore. Uh, I know the coupon code right now doesn't. So good luck not using that. Um, overall... I'm glad to be back in the Loot Crate game. This is actually quite good crates, honestly. I quite enjoyed them. Um, and I can finally go watch other people's unboxings and see their reactions, which is always enjoyable. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. And I shall see you maybe next month, maybe in three months, maybe in six months. I don't know. Whenever Fabian decides to send me some more stuff. Bye-bye.